In order to continue with our line of cylinder products, we have expanded, and this year's catalog you'll see there's quite a few different uh, types of cylinders that we've added, as well as end fittings. Uh, an example of that is our cylinder range is now complete from the uh, 25 millimeter bore size up to 145 millimeter. We have toggles to go along with all of our cylinders. We also have a variety of end fittings, as I said. We uh, started with just standard clevis end fittings uh, in the past, and now we've expanded to have marine eyes, lashing eyes, blank ends, a whole variety. We have come out with a range of blocks that uh, work at the maximum load of each size cylinder that they are designed to work with. There's a single block, a block with a becket, and a double block, uh, which looks more like a fiddle, but it, the strength of each shiv is comparable so that it can work as a, in conjunction like a double block would. Blocks are used on the ends of the rods to configure from a uh, direct purchase, a uh, reverse purchase, one to two, all the way up to a one to four reverse. In addition to our standard cylinders and all the end fittings, we have expanded it and include uh, double pull cylinders. And a double pull cylinder generally is used for moving cars on tracks or something that has to be moved in two directions uh, under tension. So a perfect example is a, a traveler car, a jib car, that sort of uh, thing. We have cylinders that are made with uh, isolation sleeves and isolation bushings on the end for mounting. The cylinders can be removed from the boat without uh, taking apart the, the mounting bracket, so to speak, on the boat. Well, we've also done locking cylinders. A locking cylinder is used on a cruising boat, uh, primarily a mega yacht, where you'd want to either limit the travel of the backstay, or if you release the pressure in the system, the backstay or whatever the cylinder is, uh, can only ease so much. We have a complete line of boom bangs in a variety of styles. We do a single acting standard air return boom vang. Uh, these work with hydraulic pressure pulling the vang down and air pressure pushing the boom back up. Uh, in conjunction with this, there is a double acting vang where there's oil in both sides of the piston. So oil pulls the vang down, but oil also pushes the vang up for lifting the boom. This is used primarily on heavier booms like a furling boom or uh, something like a Park Avenue boom where they're big, heavy, relative to the standard conventional style booms. 